Welcome back guys, Jay with Garage RC here. Today I have part two to the Beaver 2000 millimeter by FMS. If you missed part one, I flew this thing on floats and it was incredible. But I was a little nervous because I didn't have a boat, I didn't have a canoe, and I was flying over the bay with a big current. So if by chance I nosedive and did something I shouldn't have done, this plane was gone for forever. <laughs> If I did something wrong, the plane was gone forever. So lucky enough that I brought it down in one piece. If you guys are interested in that video, I will leave the link to that one on floats in the description below. The Beaver 2000 has almost a seven foot wingspan. This thing is incredible. A lot of people are intimidated with planes this size and they shouldn't be because they're gentle giants. They fly amazing, but runs on 6S, has power to do things like inverted low passes, which I'm gonna do, has the power to hover. I'm not the best hoverer, but I will show you guys a hover with this thing. Big Tundra tires, man. You can do whatever you want with this. And this prop is more than efficient, but I brought an extra prop today. I wanna try a wood prop out. So I'm gonna fly it just the way it comes from the manufacturer first, then we'll swap out batteries and we'll give it a run with the wood prop. I do. 4,000 milliamp 6S. They said you could get up to 10 minutes of flight time, but I'm pretty heavy on the throttle, so I'm definitely not gonna be able to get that kind of flight time out of it. All right, we're half flap on this takeoff. And she's up. Flaps are off. Coming around. Got a pretty good wind. I think we're about like 12 to 15 mile an hour, gusting 20 to 25. All rudder right there. It's got amazing rudder authority. Look at that, that's all rudder. do a nice slow pass when this plane's in the air it does not look that big it's massive but it doesn't look big in the air uh, let me show you guys the power this has we're gonna go full throttle and we're climbing climb 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 unlimited climb since we're up top let's see if we can flat spin this thing uh, wings might be a little big for a flat spin with the rod yeah so if you guys don't know what she just said she asked if i put the carbon spur in the wings i flew this maybe last week and uh the wings were buckling pretty bad so we thought it was funny we just thought it was part of the design i let my buddy sean fly it and he really put this thing to work and uh these are some of the pictures we got all right we're gonna bring it into a hover guys so to hover this, I go full flaps, get it into a hover, then I shut the flaps off. Oh, we got a big wind. She hovers though. For a bush plane of this size to do that is crazy. Let me try doing that without flaps first. Let's see. I got no flaps, see if we can bring it into a hover. We got a big wind right now. It's easy when you do it with the flaps. All right, let's go invert it again. I'm upside down. I'm gonna bring it nice and low in front of us. I'm gonna go far away, we're gonna turn it though. All right, we're coming around inverted. How nimble that is. Plenty of power to climb out. I'm coming right down center, full speed. Guys, I love this plane. So that was full speed. Let me show you how slow this thing could fly. We got full flaps on. Let's slow it down nice. Oh, we're crabbing, we're crabbing. Got a headwind, we could almost fly this thing backwards. Again, if you guys are interested in any of these FMS planes, I'll leave the link to this one below, but I have discount codes for any FMS planes you guys want or any parts. Garage RC gets you $15 off and Referral Garage RC is gonna give you guys 10% off any FMS purchase. So click the link below, man. Check out their awesome stuff. I got the flaps on. We're gonna come in for a touch and go. You almost forget how big this thing is when you're flying. Got a crab it. We got a big crosswind there, huh? 
What we got on the time? Minute 40 on the timer. We got some time. Bush planes are amazing. You could even throw bigger tundra ties on here if you guys want to do some big uh, grass runway ops, but I mean, these ties aren't big. Uh, no flaps. We're gonna land it. This plane is capable to do bush flying. It's capable to do 3D flying. I'm by no means a good 3D pilot, but it's a little windy out. I'll try to do a better hover. Just an amazing plane. I'm usually a stump pilot kind of guy and not a bush pilot, but this plane is the best of every world there is. And with optional floats, this is a no-brainer right here. Now, I have that wood prop. I'm going to put the wood prop on. For those of you that want to know why I'm using a wood prop, these are plastic or composite. They're a little heavier. They flex a little bit. This is a 15 by 9 pitch. I have a 15 by 7 wood prop, so it shouldn't give me any more stress on the motor. If anything, it should be a little less torquey, but with the lack of flex in the propeller i'm hoping that it kind of just evens out so let's throw that wood proper fms on here and we'll see the uh if we get any performance change on it all right we got the wood prop on the the spinner didn't fit i have to modify the spinner because the wood props a little thicker right here but uh I'm definitely gonna modify it because I like the way the wood spinner looks. Let's see how it works though. I wanna show you guys the stall capabilities of this plane. So I'm gonna go full flat, full elevator, full throttle, and we'll see how fast this takes off. Shot back up. I'm gonna go right up. It's going vertical. And she's up. All right. Let's see how this wood prop handles. Sounds a lot better. I don't know if you guys could hear it through the microphone. Probably not, but. I'm gonna come right past us. Oh yeah, I like it. Let's see if it hovers any easier. Coming down, I got my flaps on. Control. I think it has similar torque. I'm definitely gonna leave this prop on. I like the way it sounds a lot better. It feels like it might be a little bit faster. Do an inverted loop. See if we can do it. Inverted. Coming around. Let off the throttle. Coming around. Yeah, man. This plane does it all. For a, a plane of this style to be able to do this stuff is amazing. Let's see if we can hit a nice little knife edge. No problem. And it sounds beautiful doing it. I want to do that. I want to do that knife edge again low to the floor. Look at that, for a plane this size, high wing, the knife edge, come on. <laughs> I love it. Oh, I love this plane, guys. If you 
you guys are interested in one of these, man, like I said, check it out on FMS's website. The link is below. If this isn't your style of flying, this thing is definitely a top contender for the best float plane ever made. Alright, we're at a minute and a half. I'm gonna give it a quick land. I'm going full flaps. We're coming in. Butter. Butter, butter. Not really, but hey, close enough. And as I said many times in this video, guys, not my style of plane, but I absolutely love this thing. This is one of the ones that is staying in my garage because I will be bringing this to the field all the time. Not only can I practice my stunt maneuvers with this, I can fly it nice and nimble like the bush plane that it is. The wood prop is a beautiful touch, and I'm definitely leaving mine on. If you guys are interested in that prop, the plane, any of that stuff, the link is in the description. As always, guys, Garage RC, and I appreciate you watching. Till next time.